that. Um, when you cough or sneeze or splutter um, or even talk, um, tiny aerosol droplets, they are bigger droplets and they are very dangerous because they contain a lot of the virus. But even tiny aerosol droplets emanate from you and they can float in the air and the general time quoted at the moment is three to four hours. We don't know if it, the, if it will be infected for the whole time but certainly for an hour or two at least. And, and that lands on surfaces. You touch that and we are not even aware how many times we, we, we touch our faces and scratch our eyes. So that's the big, uh, um, the big bridge for that. If I can quote you on, on paper, uh, they're talking about lasting a number of hours, up to 24 hours paper and cardboard. But on hard surfaces like stainless steel and plastic, two to three days, the virus can stay alive. So if, if you can, a mask is never going to protect you completely because it leaks air underneath here at the sides. It is a surgical mask, anti-splash. It's not a mask for excluding everything and it doesn't even protect your eyes, but it will lessen the risk for you unless, unless you you let the mask get very dirty, then the viruses are sitting here in front of your nose. <laughs> so if you have a mask, um, then the best trick is to, to soak it in a, in, a, in a little bit solution of household bleach and water for a, few, for a bit and hang it in the sun to dry before you use it again. Because we do not have enough masks to tell people, like they're supposed to in hospital, discard it between patients and put on a new one. Many people only have the one. Only throw it away if there's a tear or a hole in it. Cloth masks made of cloth are actually dangerous because the cloth gets damp and viruses love damp. So the viruses are going to, going to go and sit there. It actually doesn't do any good at all. In fact, it's risky. So um, the other uh, point I want to make is that uh, the hand sanitizer is not quite as good as plain soap and water. It doesn't have to be um, disinfectant soap at all. Just good hand washing with soap and water remains the best way of cleaning your hands. But also remember to clean the door handle of the fridge, the door, the door handles, the taps that in your home where people touch often. Because uh, especially when there's more than one person living in the home, that's the places where uh, that, that are notorious for passing on any kind of germs. So a few times a day, if you just walk around and uh, uh, wipe each one of them with a bleach solution, that would really, really curtail some of the spread as well. For more, go to ewn.co.za.